What's up guys? Today, we're making mochi waffles. In my opinion, one of the most underrated menu items at my restaurant, Cultura Cafe. The ingredients that you'll need are probably already sitting in your pantry as we speak. Super simple, super easy. Compared to a classic waffle, they got a little bit more chew, they got a little more bite, and they're most definitely delicious. So join me while I teach you how to make mochi waffles. So like I said, these waffles are super easy to make. First, we're gonna start off with all of the dry ingredients. So we have here some mochiko rice flour, sugar, salt, sorry, that's my dishwasher, and some baking powder. Oh, I'm gonna give it a, a little bit of a mix just to kind of incorporate them together. And then I am going to make a little well to whisk the eggs. So we're going to add the eggs next, like I said. And I'm going to whisk the eggs. And then after the eggs, are incorporated slightly into the flour. I'm gonna add the rest of the wet ingredients. Here we have some milk. And some ube sweet condensed milk. We're gonna do about a tablespoon because this stuff is super potent. And then we're going to slowly incorporate everything together till it's kind of chunky. A little thick, but not too thick. You want that, that pull, that feeling of a pull. Well, I don't even know what that means, but just mix it all together. Okay, so as you can see here, it's starting to turn purple. It's a little clumpy, but it's okay because it'll, you just won't notice it when you um, put it in your waffle iron. And trust me, I've probably made over a hundred already. And this recipe is super simple, like I said, and it's easy to make. You don't have to be perfect. All right, so that was probably about a minute of stirring, and this is exactly the consistency we want for your ube waffles. Next up, we put them in the iron and we got some waffles. So this is a super cheap but reliable waffle maker I got at Walmart. It's a Farberware. I think when I bought it, it was 20 bucks, and I've probably used this for more than two years now on numerous occasions, and it um, heats up the waffles evenly and cooks them perfectly. So if you don't have a waffle maker, it's not that much of an investment to buy. So once your waffle maker is at the proper temperature, the light will turn and let you know, and we are ready to go. So we're gonna take a little bit of Pam and just give it a quick spray to um, prevent sticking. Because if you don't do this step, the waffle is gonna get stuck. Or you could use butter if you don't wanna use Pam. And once we incorporate the waffle batter, you wanna make sure not to um, put it all the way to the brim, otherwise it's gonna spill over. And we definitely don't wanna wa waste the waffle batter if you, if you don't have to. So that's exactly where you wanna stop. 
close it, turn it, and you're ready to go. So this recipe, yep, that was the one. This recipe was developed by my wife. Um, we were maybe about two weeks out from opening Cultura, and we realized we wanted to have some mochi waffles on our menu. So through trial and error, we came up with this exact recipe, what we serve at Cultura Cafe. So, um, shout out to my wife, Carla, for making this wonderful ube mochi waffle batter. And um, I wear my wedding ring on my necklace now because it's closer to my heart. That was from Robin. Thank <laughs> you.